I mean, I definitely feel like I should be drinking wine during this video. And if you guys don't have the Trader Joe's bottle opener, it's like $1.99, get it and get a few because this bottle opener is so easy for opening wine bottles. Hello, my sweet friends, and I finally bring you, ta-da, my wine list, my list of top best wines at Trader Joe's that are under $10. In fact, a lot of these are under $5 to $6. I am so excited to bring you this list. I've been working on this since, if you've seen my sangria video, since before even that, just testing the wines. A lot of these I've been drinking for years and some of them are new. I tried a lot of really shitty wines that you guys don't have to. So we're gonna start with the whites and then move our way up to the reds. I have some notes right here behind me just because I can't remember all of the details of every single one of them. But I assure you these are all so good and affordable, perfect for a girls' night, wine and cheese night, um, any night, honestly, <laughs> watching movies by yourself. So before I get started, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me so much and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into the web. You guys, let's start off this video with my number one favorite wine from Trader Joe's. It is the La Finca Malbec. It is oak aged. It is $3.99. And this little guy is just amazing. It is definitely softer on the palate with flavors of like various fruits. And what is the alcohol content? 13% alcohol. I gotta have a sip. I gotta try it. Oh, so good. This one is just phenomenal. If you guys haven't had this one, the La Finca Malbec, make sure it's the Malbec. Because they have, the La Finca brand has other brand, um, has other uh, wines. Well, make sure you get the Malbec. It's from Argentina. It is so good. What do you guys think of my wine gloss? It's like square. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. I'm like obsessed with it. Mm. Wine. So the first one is one I have been drinking for years. I graduated college in 2012 and I feel like I've been drinking this since around that time. So this is a Vino Verde, it's a white wine. It's extremely light. It's from Portugal and it only has 9% alcohol. It's a medium, dry, but very crisp wine. And it's just perfect for those like summer days where you wanna drink, but you don't wanna get too crazy because this is very light and it's slightly carbonated, so it's really refreshing. The second one we have here is also a carbonated one. It's a Pinot Grigio, the Contadino Pinot Grigio. This one is from Italy. It's dry, it pairs great with seafood, um, like chickens, pastas. This one is also sparkling, but if you don't like sparkling, it comes in a non-sparkling version as well. So this one right here is a newer one to me. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. And this one right here is from New Zealand. This one is on the sweeter side. It tastes of citrus and guava. So if you like a sweeter wine, this one is great for you. I know I love a Savi B as I call it. And the alcohol on this one is 12.6%. So it's getting a little stronger than the other ones. So the delicious monster right here has been a favorite of mine for a few years now. When I first discovered this maybe like two years ago, I was obsessed with it and I could only find it at one Trader Joe's near me. This one is definitely a little bit on the fruitier side. It is um, from South Africa and it's a blend of Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay and Muscat. I really love this one. This one is so good chilled and the bottle is like really cute. I would be lying if I said that's not why I bought it in the first place. So now I'm gonna move on to rosés. The rosé category was the hardest category for me to formulate just because there's a lot of shitty cheap rosé out there if I'm being honest. And I tried a lot of them and even the ones that were like more expensive than these, I think both of these are around $4.99. All of these have been $4.99 and under so far. But these two are for sure, I believe, $4.99. This one might be a little bit more, but beside the point. There's a lot of bad cheap rosé out there, so it took me a long while to find it. 
And by far my favorite are these two. We're gonna start off with this one, La Ferme Julienne. It's from France. This is a really cool wine because the grower of this one doesn't put any chemicals in the soil. Everything is all natural. It is a little bit of a, like a dry, natural, balanced wine. I'd say more balanced than dry. And this guy is 13% alcohol, so uh, yeah. It's getting up there more than our last one. And then this one right here, the Emma Richard, Emma Richard, it's a Pinot Noir Rosé. This one is definitely on the drier side. And this one is more fruity. This one has like cherry notes, um, red currant notes, and it definitely has like a little hint of watermelon in it. These two are both honestly delicious. And I mean, who doesn't love a good rosé in under $10? These two. Okay. Moving on to red wines, I have a lot from Italy because, well, I'm Italian, so, you know, and Italy just happens to make some wine. I couldn't not put a Chianti on here just because a Chianti is a great red wine that's still, like, on the lighter side. I'm gonna look at my page of my notes here, guys. So this one comes from Florence, Italy. It is a little bit more on the savory side, and it's 12.5% alcohol. This one pairs great with like um, like a more gamey meat, like lamb, so recommend that for sure. And then I'm not even going to attempt to say this, but this one is extremely smooth and balanced, also from Italy. Um, this one is great for like, it says on the bottle for pizza and pasta, and I totally agree with that just because it has like that smooth um, that flavor to it. This one is 13% alcohol. And I still think all of these are under like the $5 range. None of these are gonna be two bucks shot because those are kinda, uh, but. So if you've seen my videos, I started YouTube like three or four years ago and then like I uploaded a few videos and I quit. And I always used to talk about this wine, the Griffon Primitivo. And I was just obsessed with this one. Like this, this was it for me. Like this is the only wine I would buy there. And I totally forgot about it over the years. And like a few weeks ago, I was walking the aisles of Trader Joe's in the wine section as usual, and I see this guy and I'm like, well, you know what, let me just like try it again. I don't think it's like that good. My taste back then wasn't that great. It's still good. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this. I think I might just like love Primitivo in general, but this guy right here, I believe is $3.99 and 13% alcohol. And it's just delicious. It's super like smooth. And this is just a great like week weekday 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 night wine. Uh oh, Khaleesi's about to go off. I cannot get out a video without Khaleesi. Oh, and you guys, just so you know, Trader Joe's has like a wine person who's usually walking around the wine section. Ask them for tips. Like a few of these I've found because I have asked, hey, like what's a good like affordable rosé under ten dollars? And they will like steer you in the direction. So don't be scared to ask them because they know. And you know what, it doesn't hurt to ask. So this one here I probably found about a year ago. This is the Epicuro Primitivo. Make sure, there's gonna be another one that looks like this. Make sure you get the one with the red label. Oh wow, this one is just so delicious. This is a 14% alcohol content. This is a warm and like full bodied wine. So if you're somebody who likes like, you know, a big like Cabernet, this is like kind of on the way to that. And um, yeah, again, this one is from Italy, from Puglia actually, so exciting. So now we're gonna move into some Spanish wines. If you are someone who likes an expensive Trader Joe's wines, you probably have already heard of this one. La Sonriente Grenache. I love a good Grenache. And this one is fabulous. This one right here definitely has a lot of depth, but finesse. So it's like you are getting a wine that tastes a little bit more expensive than it is. I think all of these do, but this one especially. This one I think is a little bit more, this is between six to eight dollars, so all of the ones so far have been around five, I wanna say. Some four. But this one's definitely, I think around like six to eight. Breaking the bank over here. But this one also it has a sweeter taste of like cherries. It's 14.5%, so we're getting into some deeper alcohol content here. This one right here, the Dontificus uh, Red Blend. This is a Grenache and Syrah and 
a word that I can't even pronounce. Mor Morbedre? I don't know how to spell it. I'll put the word right here so you guys could see it. This guy right here is 13%. It's more spicy and it tastes of like black fruit. And this one is great with meats that are gamey and like a big like a red sauce. Okay, only two more left. So this right here is one my mom discovered about two years ago. It is a Cabernet Syrah blend. And this one has got to be one of my top favorites as well. It's from France. Um, it's a taste of cherry and vanilla, and this will go great with meats or grilled meats. Casseroles, like a lasagna, this would be really good with. It can, it can hold up to, you know, that smoky flavor. This guy right here is 13.5%, and wow, it's good. I really love this one too. I mean, I love all of these, but this one I've been drinking pretty heavily for the past few years. And I've even gotten my friends into it. When this one first came out at Trader Joe's, it was like $3.99. And I think now it's almost like $5.99. $4.99 or $5.99, something like that. But it's totally worth it. So the last one I cannot go without mentioning, even though I only found it a few weeks ago. So I saw this at Trader Joe's and I was looking at it and I was kind of like, uh, the bottle kind of looks like it wouldn't be that good. I don't know. I judged a book by its cover and never do that. But I took it home and it sat on my bar cart for weeks. I was like, I don't want to open that one. I don't know how it's going to be. Well, I opened it and it's fantastic. One of my girlfriends was over and she only likes sweet wines and she just loved this one. Um, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon and it has, what is that, 13.5% alcohol. So it's on the stronger side. I think it was from Sonoma Valley. I'm pretty sure, California. Yeah, Sonoma Valley. Um, but this is like a smooth Cabernet, but still packs a lot of flavor. So even if you're someone who doesn't like red wine, try this, you might like it. And last but not least, I do not have a photo of this one because I forgot to get it and I didn't save the bottle. As you can see, a lot of these have been drank already because I was holding on to them because I didn't want to buy like however many bottles of wine this is. Is the Almond Champagne for $5.99 at Trader Joe's. It is a sweet lover's dream. Not too sweet though. If you don't like sweet wine, I think you're still going to like it, but it's a champagne that has like a touch of almond flavor almost like um like an almond like a danish like an like a almond croissant like that type of flavor the marzipan flavor that's kind of what it tastes like and if you don't like marzipan i think you'll still like this because i happen to hate marzipan and it's fantastic i'll put a picture of it like over here somewhere but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video this completely concludes the video maybe i'll do a part two because i still have a lot more but these were my absolute favorites if i had to choose like a few if i had to choose one to drink on like a girl's night i think i would choose the los ambiente i really loved this one and you guys saw my sangria video i am pretty i used this to make sangria so that was great um the embracing is really good for a more inexpensive one this is like my everyday rosé, the La and Juliet. And the Sauvignon Blanc for a sweeter one is amazing. And of course, the delicious one. I'm like saying them all, so you know what? Get them all. Go and try them all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps me out a lot. And let me know down below what your favorite wine is at Trader Joe's. I mean, yeah, we need to share the, the wealth over here of knowledge because I don't have time to pay like $10 for a bottle of wine or like $15 for a bottle of wine. Like, I want to go to Trader Joe's, get all my food, get like four bottles of wine and it'd only be like 60 bucks. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite wine is so that I can 